So this is our next lesson in building our rollerball game. And we've added a few things here. So um, let's go through it. First of all, I added some color to my game. So you should maybe create some new materials. I did name them walls and floor when I put them in, fold around with them. Um, makes it look a little bit better when I'm playing it. Okay, so now we've added some uh, new things here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is a right click um, UI and let's make sure we go through our new text here. So we've changed uh, the uh, um, script. So we've added Text Mesh Pro. We've got a count text inside here. We've got a win text object. All these are variables. You don't have to type this part in the green part just for you to know. We added some initializing our game when the game first starts with a count number and then setting our win text object to false. We're not um, winning anything yet and getting the account. So we've added these um, uh, lines to our um, script to get our game playing when we first start. We're starting off with zero when we first start playing and then we're going to start keeping score but we can't win yet. This we already have. Um, this we already had too. And this we're going to add too. I think we already maybe no, I think this is new. So first of all for our pickup if uh, we have an object that's tagged as pickup we're going to pick it up. If not it's going to be false. And every time we pick one of these uh, cones up it's going to uh, increase our score and then send our count text. And we're calling the count text down here. So that's going to keep score and add as we go. I'm going to make this like two so I can demonstrate a lot easier. And so we're calling this count text up inside here. And I'm going to win if I have two. Okay. So that's the script. You're going to need to add Text Mesh Pro. And let me see if I have it in my project. Text Mesh Pro. You can look that up in the Unity registry. And then add it, Text Mesh Pro. Or you can also type it in and get it. So we're going to add that because we're going to have it inside our script, as you saw it uh, up here. Text Mesh Pro. Now, for all of our um, items, and you can just click on the um, prefab. This is the reason we did the prefab. And hopefully you just... Uh, c copied this, made duplicates of it. But if you click on this and you add pickup, it'll add it. It will add it to all of them. Sometimes you have to say do it. But you can, if you check here now, they should all have that pickup. They they need to be labeled as pickup, or you're not going to pick them up. Uh, that's part of our script. So you're going to come down here. You're going to, uh, let me close this. You're going to create a UI text mesh pro. So uh, yours will create this, this, all this up here. Um, let me delete that. Let me get out of here. 
don't know if it's going to add it because I already have one or not. It may just add it to what I have. Yeah, it does. Yours is going to create a, uh, a new one. So yours will create a canvas, and I can't remember exactly what this is called, um, but it's not going to be called count text. So you're going to go to your canvas, and um, we're going to go to that count text, and you're going to name it count text. Whatever this is called, you're going to type in count text, and then we're going to put in the text input down here. Now to see this, you're going to double click on 2D and let's click on it. So now we've created um, this and let me zoom out a little bit. So this um, we're going to uh, change the position to 10 and negative 10 but the main thing you're going to do while you're clicked on this count text is click here and then hold down uh, shift alt I think yeah shift alt and move it so if I hold down shift alt I can move it to the middle where I don't want it but I want it here so while you're on the count text you're going to click on the rec transforms hold down shift and alt and move it to the uh, top there and then to get it looking good we're going to uh, No, count text we leave. We leave the count text where it is. Okay. All right, so it's up there. And then you're going to right-click and create a new UI, Text Mesh Pro. And it's going to be WinText. And WinText... Um, we want to have that to the center, so hold down Shift Alt and click on the center there. And I can't remember if I typed this in or not. I did change the size and make it bold. You can also change the, the color if you want to and the size down here. But if you make it too big, you're going to have to go back and change this. So, um,. Go ahead and get those done and make sure when you click on 2D you can see it then. When you're done, unclick from the 2D, otherwise you're going to still be in 2D. So when you play your game, you should see the score up in the uh, left corner immediately. And for my game... All I have to do is hit two, and then I win. And I could change that win and make it a little bit bigger. So quite a bit to do. Um, you're going to get this event system. Don't touch that. But uh, and make sure you have your uh, um, empty game object here, and make sure this is zeroed out. Uh, reset for your pickup. I have 12 of these. You don't have to. Notice the the script did have 12. I just happened to pick 12. But uh, um, I did I did have 12 inside there so anyway change your game a little bit make sure you label your uh, uh, tokens as pickup and see if you can get this done